Well, Isaac Mizrahi is a true trend setter. He's also creative director at Liz Claiborne, and he's written a style guide called How to Have Style. Isaac Mizrahi, good morning. Hello. How does a woman figure out what her own personal style is? Well, you know, I think the most important thing to do is start with things you like. Start with, start with liking the idea of style. So many women are so intimidated by it, you know, and they feel that they have to change themselves in some crazy giant way or spend lots of money or, you know, in fact, it's really, really a simple thing to kind of like walk into a room and respond to something and just go with it and have fun. You know, you have to make it into yeah. a really fun thing. Otherwise, you're going to kind of keep putting it in the dark corner somewhere where you're scared. Don't you know think of I mean? it as a daunting thing. No, 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 no. Well, at the beginning of your book, you have this questionnaire to try and figure out, you know, mm -hmm. what your personal style is. What are the most important questions a woman should be asking herself to get to that um, you, know. you know, a good question. I think, you know, about things about like what she likes most and what motivates her to do certain things, you know, um, and why she's not doing things that she's always wanted to do. I mean, like, I feel like style is a really, uh, it's, it's a bigger issue. It's an issue that's like life related or something. If you find that you're not like looking your best, right? It's because you're not feeling your best. It's because you're afraid of things, you know yeah. what I mean? So like, at the own same it. time, yeah, own it. And at the same time that I'm saying it's not a serious thing, it's because it's, it's really not a serious thing. You're supposed to have fun, but it does like kind of come from this kind of place of like bravery or something or, yeah. Well, let's give some like really solid tips to people. Follow me. Okay. Where you brought some walking. must haves and we're walking yes, and we're, we're walking. walking. It's not, we're stepping yeah, down. Exactly. Whoops, don't trip. In heels. In heels. in heels. Well, you have flats and no socks. Right, okay. that's right. The first must have in every woman's wardrobe is a right. trench coat. Okay. Why and what are some tips in, when shopping for one? Well, I always think that, you know, there's moments when you don't have time to put yourself together and on those moments a trench coat just kind of goes on, the belt goes on, you know, the collar goes up and it gives you this instant kind of mystery, you yeah. know? And if you have good legs, you get a short trench. And if you prefer your legs covered, you get a long trench, okay. do you know? Okay, and it's yeah. classic. It's, it's very classic. classic. It's always, you can never make a mistake with a trench coat. Okay, you love bright colored cashmere. Yes, I do. No and again, what, yeah. I feel like they're sort of tonics, you know, you just throw that on with any neutral, right? I think a lot of people are so afraid of color and don't yes. know how to mix colors. Right. Well, if you don't know how to mix colors, keep this in mind. Wear neutral with a color, you know? Or, like right now, you're like right wearing now, exactly. neutral khaki mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with a bright orange. That's right, Boom. that's right. There you go. All right. So that's why I like a cashmere sweater. Tips on <laughs> owning it when wearing a bandana. bandana. You know, I mean, I wear a bandana because I've always worn a bandana. That's your signature. I grew up wearing a bandana and I will not go away from this. It's one of my signatures, it, yes. It is. But if it's not you, it's not you and there's nothing we can do about it. I mean, you know, it doesn't make me better for wearing a bandana, though, <laughs> though, <laughs> dot, though. Dot, dot, yes. <laughs> okay, next, um, you really like patent leather pumps? Well, I like, I like, I have to say, like, people ask me, is there one thing you can tell every single woman, you know, that would make her look better. And I think, you know, like, yes, there is. And it's about a high heel shoe, you know? I mean, this is particularly gigantic heel. That's, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about however high you can take it. Like, I know there's women out there who only wear flats, but if you can manage the littlest heel, it really does so much for your carriage and your height and everything. It really does. It's true for your posture. You just feel more, you know, mm -hmm. elegant. You start walking yes. like this. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> now, these are just like quick tips for people, but my book is not really about like quick tips. It's a really in-depth kind of thing about how to find inspiration, you know, because to me, that is synonymous with style, being inspired. Do you Isaac, know? Yes, Isaac thank is right. You. Thank you so <laughs> much. For more of Isaac's Style Guide, go to our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.